。有些人来了。有些。Some。有些。Some。刚刚来了一些人，一些 ，some。Wait, what? What's the difference between them? Hello, 大家好 ，I'm Grace. Today we're going to talk about a special use of 有 You might have learned that 有 means half, but 有人 doesn't mean half people, and 有一天 doesn't mean half a day. If you are curious about what they mean and would like to learn this usage of 有 just keep watching. In Chinese, you might see sentences like, 有一个人哭了，有一个人哭了，有三辆车来了，有三辆车来了，有一些学生站在那边，有一些学生站在那边。To understand the use of 有 in these sentences, first you need to know that when we speak, in order to let the listeners understand us better, we tend to say something they know already before giving them any new information. So the subject of a sentence will usually be something that the listener is already familiar with. Now let's see these three phrases: 一个人 a person, 三辆车 three cars, 一些学生 Some students. If you use them as subjects, the listeners don't really know who or what exactly you are referring to. They are unknown to the listeners, so most of the time, the following sentences would sound unnatural and incorrect. 一个人哭了，三辆车来了，一些学生站在那边。They sound unnatural because we tend to have a subject that is known to the listener. So, in order to make it clear, we need to add a yo before the phrase to alert the listener that there is someone or something, and we are going to talk about it. So, the listener is now aware of them. So, instead of saying 一个人哭了 we say 有一个人哭了 You can even omit the e and say. 有个人哭了 or omit 一个 and say 有人哭了 Instead of saying 三辆车来了 we say 有三辆车来了 The third example, instead of saying 一些学生站在那边 we say 有一些学生站在那边 E here can be omitted to say. 有些学生站在那边。In summary, we like to have subjects that both the listener and speaker know, so that when we talk about someone or something in particular but is unknown to the listeners, like 一个人 or 一些学生 we need to add a 有 before them. However, for the object, you can give new information that is unknown to the listeners. So phrases like 一个人三辆车 and 一些学生 are totally acceptable. So we can say, 他弄哭了一个人。他弄哭了一个人。He made someone cry. When used as an object, we don't add 有 Another example, 我舅舅昨天买了三辆车。我舅舅昨天买了三辆车。My uncle bought three cars yesterday. The next example is: 那边站了一些学生。那边站了一些学生。Some students are standing there. There are a couple of daily phrases that are formed by this use of 有 so let's learn about them. The first one is 有人有人 When it's used as a subject, it means someone. For example, 有人喜欢你有人喜欢你 Someone likes you. Two. 有人想你了有人想你了 
The next one is 有一天有一天 one day or some day. It's often used to start a story. For example, 有一天我在一家咖啡厅读书有一天我在一家咖啡厅读书 One day I was studying in a cafe. Next, 有些有些 some. This phrase is the shortened form of 有一些有些 has some different usages, but an important one is that it can be put before a subject to express some. For example, 有些人不喜欢吃香菜有些人不喜欢吃香菜 Some people don't like to eat cilantro. 在台湾有些地方常常下雨。在台湾有些地方常常下雨。In Taiwan, some places often rain. However, to express some for an object, we use 一些一些 For instance, 他带了一些面包给你。他带了一些面包给你。He brought some bread for you. 我上个月看了一些好书。我上个月看了一些好书。I read some great books last month. The last one is 有的，有的 ，some of。有的 is similar to 有些 ，but they are different. 有的 is used when you are talking about a specific group, and you want to refer to some of the members in this group. For example. 在教室里，有的学生在睡觉，有的学生在吃东西。在教室里，有的学生在睡觉，有的学生在吃东西。Okay, now let's review the key concept of today's lesson. In Chinese, "you" has a special use. When we speak, in order for listeners to understand us better, we tend to say something that they know first. So, if there is an unknown subject, we add a "you" before the subject to make it known to the listeners. So, instead of saying 一个人哭了 we say 有一个人哭了 or simply 有人哭了 However, an unknown object is totally acceptable, so we wouldn't use "you" for the object. You can just say 他弄哭了一个人 All right, now let's do a quiz so you can apply what you learned today. I will put the answers in the comments. The first one is, 他看了 A 三本书 B 有三本书 Number two, A 三本书被他拿走了 B. 有三本书被他拿走了。Next, A. 有些人今天下午会去我家。B. 一些人今天下午会去我家。The next one, 我今天认识了 A. 有些人。B. 一些人 All right, that's all for today. 如果你喜欢今天的影片，别忘记按赞、订阅和分享哦 And if you'd like to support me to make more content for you, please visit my COVID page. The link is in the description below. Also, if you'd like to learn some daily Mandarin expressions, check out my Instagram, Grace Mandarin. 那我们就下次见喽，拜拜。